hello guys welcome back to good show tips so i'm not wasting time and if you're for the first time don't forget to subscribe and support our channel the first one is we have to uncheck the administrator from exe files so you just have to check for that you can just go over here in the steam library select the respective game that is call of duty modern warfare 2.0 click on properties go to local files click on browse so why we have to do this because it's going to take us very easily to the uh, i mean where the game is installed now what we have to do is just go over here at the top so scroll down and go to the cod main folder okay select this one right click and go to show more options and go to properties now if you go at the top click on compatibility and check whether run this program in compatibility mode is checked as well as if run this program as an administrator is marked that means this is ticked both this are ticked if it is ticked you have to untick this and go for apply and go for okay simultaneously go at the top do same for the sp22 folder the rest just scroll down and what we have to just scroll down and we have to do is we just have to scroll down a little bit and navigate to .exe so uh, we are over here and the .exe is somewhere here i missed it so just scroll okay so here it is so just select the respective one right click and go to show more options and go to properties click on compatibility and make sure this is not ticked simultaneously run this program is also not checked and go for okay then go back to the steam and launch the game and most probably that will be working moving to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay for that just go over here at the top right click and go to properties and over here as you can see under general enable the steam overlay will be most probably ticked if it is checked you just have to uncheck it and that is what you have to do simultaneously you have to disable all the unwanted things which is running in the background so just go over here in the start click over here and navigate to task manager and right now as you can see there are many things which is running in the background these are which is uh, which are needed and if you scroll down you can see many armory many other apps like discord which drain a lot of performance so that's why i'm saying you just have to end the task for same do for the same for all the unwanted things and you just have to keep it only the wanted things or else it will be draining out your performance so it is very important moving to the next one is all about you have to uncheck compatibility from .exe file like i said above it is already done simultaneously you have to do the same for steam app for that you just go over here search for steam search for steam now click on open file location so i'll do it once again click on steam sorry go over here click on open file location and this is where the steam is installed right click right now just go over here on show more options go to properties go to compatibility and right now as you can see the run this program as an administrator is checked so you just have to uncheck it simultaneously if under the compatibility mode the run this program in compatibility mode also will be checked in some cases just uncheck it and once you done one done just close it close it go back to the steam try to launch the game and that might be working moving to the next one is all about you have to launch the game and turn off demand texture streaming so i'll do is i'll just open the game so uh, you just have to do the same you have to open the game then just do some uh, you know some steps over there so i'll be showing you that so before that i'll be providing few link in the description so those descriptions are to our website get droid tips where you can refer our website get droid tips for many topics like iphones ipad social media windows even androids games etc we update a lot of articles and you can refer all these things some articles so some topics are not covered in youtube so some users ask the same question so we say you can go to the website so we don't they say we you don't provide any links so just go to the link and you can read our website so this is how it looks like so once it is done you just have to wait for it so uh you just have to wait for the status to get completed and once all these things are done you just have to follow the instruction so the next step is all about you have to launch the game then we have to turn on sorry turn off demand texture streaming okay that is what we have to do so it is getting loaded up so right now as you can see this is the game so let me go over here at the top let me go to settings now from here after going to the setting what you have to do is just have to go to graphics so let me go to the graphics and over here under you just have to scroll down you can see over here 
Now from here, what we have to do is just have to go to the quality section. So over here, you just have to do is you just have to turn off the demand texture streaming. So you will be able to find it here. So go for show more. So over here, as you can see, now just scroll down a little bit, go to show more options. Now from the graphics you'll be able to find over here it, it you'll be able to find the demand texture streaming just turn it off and that is what you have to do and once it has been turned off you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue and in most cases that might be working so it's not in all the case it it has worked for some users so we can see whether it's gonna work or not so as you can see over here in the display go to quality and you just scroll down and over here as you can see on demand texture streaming is turned on just close this go for yes and once it is done just go back to the game i mean just close everything go back okay so just go back so i'll skip this once it is done just launch the game and most probably that will be working moving to the next one delete the save game files like i said above if you're deleting it you know all the game progressions will be completely deleted so me keep in keep in mind this is gonna be this is gonna have that side effect so just go over here on the over here and go to this pc go to documents and you will be able to find call of duty just right click and delete it that is what you have to do once deleted you have to uh launch the game once again and most probably you know they're gonna fix the issue if it's not don't worry the next is all about verify integrity of game file for that just go over here and go to the game over here select the game right click and go to properties click on local files and click on verify integrity of game file so this is actually fixing a lot of issue so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues should be completely fixed as you can see all 169 files successfully validated which means all these files are completely validated so sometimes some missing files and some issues can cause the trouble so this step is very important Moving to the next one is all about when you are launching the game. Some users, when they are uh, when they are launching the game, they are getting uh, your reverse of a prompt to have an option, so which is asking for a safe mode. So just go for it. Do not neglect it or do not cancel. If there is, if the game is asking for a safe mode, just go for it. Moving to the next one is all about you have to let uh, the next is you have to add the game.exe file to the Windows security. So I'll show that. So just minimize this one go over here in the control search for control panel now open this over here click on windows defender now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to scroll down and see whether you are able to see call of duty modern warfare 2.0 as you can see it is available so it is both are checked that is for private and public and if it's not there you have to add it up so click on allow another app and go for browse so browse will take you to this pc and go to the respective local disk and go to program files 86 if you don't know the path of the game where is it installed scroll down and navigate to steam okay let me scroll down and uh, let me navigate to steam okay i have to find steam from here i'm sorry so here the steam open this go for steam apps click on common Call of Duty HQ and here it is COD just add this here I have already added so I'll be getting add options and it won't work so you have to add it once it is added and most probably you just have to go back to the game and launch it and see whether you're able to fix the issue and you will be able to fix the issue because this worked for many users moving to the next one is all about you have to put dx11 d3 d2 and dx12 command in the launch option so that can be found here in the steam just go over here right click and go to properties and if you go there you can see there is a launch option right so just give the first command so i'll be giving this in the description so don't worry dx11 and you have to close this and check whether you are able to fix the issue and if it's not there try with this one that is d3 d12 I mean you have to try with this one and if it's not working just go for dxd12 that is dxd12 then launch it once again and most probably this might be working out because this worked in some scenario so that's what i'm saying this is gonna work out this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game from the installation folder that is quite important that is you have to run it on the installation folder 
so you just have to go over here you have to navigate to the installation folder you can go it in two way right click over here go to properties click on local files and click on browse so that's going to take you to where the game is installed right now you are in the folder where the game is installed you got the entire path very shortly now from here scroll down and navigate to cod over here the application dot txt select it and click on right click and go to show more options and navigate to properties over here navigate to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator select this one go for apply go for ok that is what you have to do and sometimes this might be working and imagine that you don't know the path of the game there is no point in this but even i'm going to show you that how to get to just open the folder go to local disk c where the game is installed in my case it's installed on local disk c but if you're in a case it's installed in some other just navigate to it now click over here on local disk c and scroll down and navigate to program files 86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam over here and now from here you just have to do is just have to do is just have to go there on steam apps click over here now from here click on common and now from here call of duty hq now from here scroll down and right click and go to show more options simultaneously what i shown you already compatibility run the program as an admin should be checked go for apply and go for ok and this is what we have to do after this most probably the issue has to be fixed but even if it's not working the next is running the game on the dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search search for graphics settings so just open this now you'll be getting an option like this so here as you can see these games are already added now we want to add the call of duty modern warfare 2.0 for that just click on the browse and here we have to navigate to the game so where the game is installed so i'll show it once again if it is installed on local to see so local to see and now from here click on program files 86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam now just scroll down once again and navigate to steam apps and now from here click on common and now you can see call of duty hq folder open this now from here select cod and go for add right now this has been added but we have one more step to do click on option and set this to high performance now go for save right go for save and once it has been saved and you're good to go then we close this and launch the game and that might be working out that might be working because it's helped it helped many users so try with this one moving to the next one is all about you have to install visual c plus plus so that is very important. so next step is all about what you have to do is you just have to just follow the instruction that is all about we have to install visual c plus plus so I'll be providing a link in the description where you can get Visual C++ that is Visual C++ redistributable. So just scroll down and you have to check whether you are on 86 or 64. So if you are on 86 just click on this one I have already installed it. So just click on this one and you can download the .exe as you can see if you are on 64 just install this. As you can see if I open this it is going to ask you for run just go for run. And now as you can see I agree the terms when I go for install. As you can see this is already installed even i'm installing it once again for purpose of video we just have to wait for a couple of minutes to wait this once the installation is done just launch the game this might be working out and move to the next one is all about you have to close all overclocking applications that is uh, quite important that you just have to close all the uh, overclocking applications like you know uh, you have to close everything that is which are uh, overclocking applications like this code you have to close it which are running in the background for example many applications are running in the task manager it is completely waste just uh, close everything and simultaneously make sure that if you are uh, connected to multiple monitors just eject it and if you are playing uh, connected to any logitech wheel just eject it and uh, you know if you are uh, already connected with many other usb ports are completely busy with some other things just eject it and just launch the game and once after that just connect it back that is what you have to do moving to the next one is also you have to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search search for system configuration and now go to services and as you can see all these things are there just click on hide all microsoft services and just go for disable all once you're done with this one just uh, go to the steam and try to launch the game and that might be working out moving to the next one and the last not the last but an important step is increasing the virtual memory for that just go over here search for view advanced system setting like already done go for settings and now for me it is quite important that's click on advanced and go for change right now as you can see here if i check this i'll not be able to select local disk 
any any local list so it is very important that you have to uncheck this one right now as you can see i'm having local list c only but in a case or any one of your case it might be multiple disk so you have to select which this you have to select the disk where the game is installed right now this is c so i'm selecting the respective one and if in a case if it is d you have to select the respective disk where the game is installed once after that just go over here and give for custom size here we have to give few values that initial size and maximum size but there is a calculation that is around 1.5 times the total RAM. that is the initial calculation so what you have to do is you should be you should be knowing how to calculate it so for that first we wanted to know what is the actual specification of your pc so i'll select this one go for setting go to uh, system over here scroll down and navigate to about right now as you can see my ram is 32 gb and this is running on 64 bit so i have to convert it for converting for converter we need the calculator so i'll be searching here for calculator so let me open the calculator so right now i knew that my 32 gb is my ram so i have to do the initial size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram so what do you have to do is i have to convert this one into gb that is i have to multiply 32 into 1024 Okay, I have to multiply it with 1024 because I am doing the conversion. So that is around 32,768. Now I have to multiply it 1.5. So I am going to multiply with 1.5. That is around 4,952 is my initial size value. So I have to go back. Now I have to paste it over here. And move to the next one is maximum size. So maximum size is always 3 times. Okay, 3 times the total RAM. So first I have to do the conversion. So 32 GB into 1024 that is 32768 multiply into 3 for the maximum that is 98304 so i have to copy this now close this just give the value over here and then i have to go for apply and okay and once it is done most probably just go back to the steam and launch the game and you will be able to fix the issue moving to the next one is you have to try with windowed mode when you're launching the game you can try with windowed mode so i'll show you that just open the game and go to settings over here and over here as you can see you can see there are many options just go to settings now go to graphics so right now if you scroll up right now if you scroll on the display and if you go for display mode so this has been full, full screen exclusive right and if you click on this one you can get windowed option full screen borderless option full screen text extend window so by default this will be in full screen exclusive that's what happening the issue maybe you can try out with changing this to windowed and save it so i'll keep the same so i'll keep it to windowed and once it is done you just have to apply the changes it is very important so right now we are in the windowed mode as you can see we are in the windowed mode and once after that you just have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not you will be able to fix the issue with the game so just try with that moving to the next one is all about you have to lower the graphics setting so i'll show you that in the game itself just go to the uh, graphics over here so these are quality and all options are there so it is very important that we just have to few make few changes over here because that is because might be affecting so just go scroll down uh, over here as you can see vsync gameplay is turned off vsync memes uh, sorry menus are turned off sometimes this will be turned on just turn it off do custom grace refresh if it's request if it is demanding from your side depends on the pc or laptop scroll down and do some changes over here simultaneously on the quality also you can make some changes on video memory scale texture resolution you can change this to low medium whatever it may be it's all up to you and your pc you can do accordingly and because doing some alterings over here can bring a very big changes so that's what i'm saying this you can do that from your side moving to the next one and the last one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game because uh, uninstall the game is quite easy just go to the steam over here right click and go to manage options you'll be getting uninstall option after uninstalling you have to reinstall it back but reinstalling back it should not be to the same local disc c right as you can see here i have installed the game on local disc c but if i'm reinstalling it back it should not be on local disc c but it should be on other disc for example d e f whatever it may be depends on that but here in my cases i'm having local disc c only so i am done with this one but in a case you have to change it so these are the possible workarounds you have to try out and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye peace out bye bye